Hello students, welcome to English classes at Radhika Ramesh. So today we are going to learn about the topic formal and informal communications. The difference between formal and informal communications. So what is meant by formal communication? Formal communication means communication in a formal situation. Formal situation means uh, in official situations or in business situations. And in informal communication means uh, communication in informal situations that, that is communication among your friends your family members etc so uh, let's see what are the differences between formal communication and informal communications now let's see what are the characteristics of formal communications we have already said that formal communication means communication in formal situations that is communication uh, that is happening among your officials or your colleagues in a very formal situation or with your higher officials, etc. And the first characteristic uh, is that it is structured and professional. And we know that formal communication is structured. We cannot say uh, anything according to our perspective or anything that you want in a formal uh, platform and it is much more professional that is uh, you should have to care about what you are speaking in formal situations organized communication and formal communication is organized that is uh, a well structured communication is there and you should have to plan uh, what you are going to communicate that is you cannot communicate whatever you wanted in a in a formal platform or in a formal situation then workplace communication formal communications are happening at workplaces to your colleagues or to your higher authorities or higher officials etc and uh, in a uh, college situation or in your educational institutions that is the your communication with your principal your teacher will be of formal communication then clear concise and structured communication and while you are communicating formally your communication should be clear concise means precise and it should be up to the point and structured we already said about the structure of communication that is whatever you want to communicate should have a well organized structure and you should have to communicate uh, the thing that you wanted to communicate very clearly concisely and in an organized manner and here we have some other uh, characteristics of formal communication specific information that is you should know uh, in formal situations what you want to communicate and you should be up to the point and you should be very much specific and there is no scope for explaining explaining uh, uh, to your boss or to the formal situations that is your communication should be specific that is you should be very much uh, point to the information take many forms including written documents emails phone calls or face to face conversations communication means not at all face to face communication or conversations and official communication can be uh, re uh, through written documents that is if you are writing a letter a leave letter to your class teacher it's a kind of official communication or an informal communication it's an example for formal communication if you are writing an explanation to your principal or if you are writing uh, sending an email uh, for a job application it is also a kind of formal communication and if you want to uh, call uh, your higher authority that is your teacher uh, for some other reasons it is for some official reasons not some other reason for official reason it is also uh, a kind of formal communication 
then follow certain protocols that is if you want to communicate to your higher officials or formally you should have to follow certain rules and regulations that is protocols that is you should have to address people by calling them calling them as sir or something else that is you should have to exhibit some kinds of respect to uh, the others in formal situations ineffective formal communication can lead to confusion inefficiency and poor decision making and if you are communicating with your officials inefficiently that is your ideas may not be conceived or may not be uh, communicated with others and it may feel or it may uh symbolize your inefficiency and your poor decision making power that is if you want to that is in an interview suppose uh, you are attending an interview and it is a very formal situation and in that interview uh, you cannot communicate what you have intended will be uh, taken as negative that is you will get negative issues on communication or negative marks on communication so whatever you want to communicate should be precise clear and up to the point otherwise uh, and it should uh, it should be also well organized or structured otherwise uh, there is a, there is no formal communication is being happened or you cannot that is the people will believe that you cannot communicate formally so you should have to care all these elements while you are communicating officially or formally okay now let's see what are the importance of informal communication or what are the characteristics of in informal communication that's we know that informal communication is not at all formal but you are having communicate uh, having communicated with your friends and colleagues and it is very informal and uh, cracking jokes and saying your problems are also uh, there in informal communication conversations in social settings informal communications are very uh, relevant to form friends or to make friends so you should have to possess very good information informal communication abilities then preserve and establish relationships with the colleagues in order to maintain your relationship with your colleagues and friends you should have to converse them informally if you are keep on um, communicating with them formally what will happen you may not have uh, a number of friends or you may not have uh, able to find out friends that is close friends in order to make friends you should have to communicate with them informally developing new ideas or resolving conflicts and while why we are making friends or why we are um, communicating with our colleagues informally that is because we want to develop our own ideas or new ideas or resolving conflicts that is if there is a communication gap we should have to speak to others openly then only the conflicts will be avoided so uh, informal communications are very much helpful for human beings as we know that human beings are very much social animals they cannot live in isolation as a result of this they should have each and every one should have to develop a uh, an ability for informal communication also then casual conversations between friends or colleagues whatever you are telling to your friends and colleagues will be for, uh, fallen into the area of informal communication then while you are communicating informally you have ample or enough freedom to express yourself and build stronger relationships that is if you are communicating effectively you will get ample number of friends and it will make you stronger and if you are telling or if you are communicating informally with your friends and your relationships will become stronger also so in order to build stronger relationships you should have to maintain good informal communication skills
okay i think you have understood some of the ideas or some of the differences between formal communication and informal communication so watch the video very carefully and precisely and write down notes and uh, be prepared for the classes okay bye